Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craftery and welcome to a little Thrifty Canucks Thrifty Thursday video. Um, just some goodies I got at the Lions Club garage sale today, which goes um, from like May to September or so. They fill up the curling rink full of stuff. And this is what I picked up today. So there is this here brown lace very nice there it looks like they're cut into about a foot by a foot section and there is probably 20 pieces of it it's um quite a, a shiny type um shimmery type lace i guess you could call it i got this here now this is just gonna kind of It's probably a good yard by a yard and it's got this frill and then it's got these little gold colored little um, charm type things on it. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. It's a nice sheer green fabric. So I could use this trim for something. Oh, some of these are really heavy. Like that one there is like an actual charm. Some of them are just like quite thin, but that one was quite heavy. I don't know if there's any other ones that are heavy like that. Yeah, there's a couple more over here. I just seen one. So yeah, so anyways, um, they're going to be useful. There's another one of these. And I might be able to just use the trim and hang it off of a book or something i don't know i thought it was cute so i usually just go in there with a cloth shopping bag or a couple of them and just fill them up there is this cute material right here coffee cups and stuff it looks like probably a half a yard of it beautiful colors nice bluish tea tealish color on the back so there is that <clears throat> this I just fell in love with this oh here is a fabric land purchased July 29th 2014 whatever they bought she paid $52 for it that's kind of funny that it's uh still got the receipt tucked in it so i'm not sure if this coffee type one was from this but look at this fabric is that not gorgeous they've got the flower fairies they look like flower fairies to me they've got like some glitter on the wings and stuff but that is nice there is at least a yard of it. So I was really, really excited when I found that. This fabric's just gorgeous for covers or fabric flips or who knows what. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I really, really love the mixture of the colors. Very nice. And then there is this here. These are just a linen napkin. They've got a little thing. It says $1.50 for a set of four. Obviously, somebody had this at a garage sale. Um, the Lions is all donation. You fill up your bag or whatever. And So it looks like a pink flower, a purple flower, a blue flower, and a yellow flower. So I thought those would come in handy for something. We have these here. Now, there's a doily here. And then there is oops, this long piece. Now, it's curved, so I'm thinking that it's a collar. Actually, there's an old price on it. It says $16, so... 
I wouldn't have paid $16 for it because I find it hard to pay that kind of money when I'm going to be cutting something up. But um, these are brand new. They've never been used. So there's that one. And then there is this one here. Whoa, that one says $32. Holy cow. That would have been a bit pricey. This one's definitely a collar. It's still got the button on it here. So that's pretty nice. We got this pink doily, which I really liked how it looked so um, frilly, um, whatever. I don't know how it's made. It's not crocheted and it's not knitted. It almost looks like it's like um just knots, like so kind of like a macrame or something. I have no idea what you would call that, but it's cute. There was this little doily too, and then there is this old beat up lace with flowers, lots of strings hanging on this, so it was probably on something, but I figure you know I can clean that up. And then I can use them for something. So there's, I don't know, 15 flowers or something there. We've got some seam binding. It's a red, quite a bright red. Hudson Bay Company. That's interesting. Okay. And then I found these here. I see they've got a price tag of a dollar on them. As I say, everything's purchased by the bag full, not by this. But these are little um, wine bottles. They're earrings. But I thought they'd make really cute charms for a wine journal. And I actually, I want to make a wine journal. So I thought these would come in handy. So they're probably just something that came from a dollar store or just you know Claire's or something just a, a cheaper store and then there was these here these bows I thought they were kind of cute I thought what the heck so I threw those in my bag I got these here there's not very many of them in here but these are smaller than the other ones I've got so I grabbed them there's uh, or a half a dozen of them or so in here and with the other side the two sides that you put together so I thought oh, I'd throw those in my bag too then we have this here um, everybody's photo course now this is an older book it is 1947 and there's some really cool ads in here, as well as just, I mean, there's pictures. A lot of them I might not use, but some of them I would definitely use. The printing is nice and, and um, very clear. And I thought, well, being that the topic of the book, I wouldn't have to worry on what the writing says. But some of the pictures are actually quite nice. And what the heck. I had to fill up my bag with something. So I threw that in there. There is this here. I do not know what it is. It's German. And it is from... Maybe somebody knows and, and can um, tell me what that says but I think it's some kind of math book it is from 1938 and the reason I am saying it's maybe math is because it's got this type of stuff in it which is kind of cool it's got lots of charts and whatnot like that in it but just interesting I love books in different languages because just because then you know you have something different for your journal and you can see how
colored it is around the edges and whatnot. So that, uh, that was worth throwing in my bag. There is this big, huge roll of purple ribbon. Um, it's like a satin ribbon. So it looks like somebody was trying to get a dollar for it at one time. It's 100% polyester. But it, it it feels like the satin ribbon. And there is a lot of ribbon on there. So we got that there. And we've got more ribbon. Now there is this here. Let's open this up. Looking at the tape. It's been there quite a while. But I thought, oh, it says Noel. And it's kind of Christmassy. So that's really cute. Actually, it's very nice ribbon. It says it makes two bows. There were six yards on it at one time, but a bunch of it's gone. But we've got just some gold, quite narrow ribbon. Not too much left on the spool, but the price is right on all this stuff. We've got this here, which is just an organza type ribbon. Um, don't think that's um, yeah it is it's got the the wire on the edge of it but that is actually really easy to pull out but the, I thought this would be really nice for a tie on a journal I don't really need ribbon um, I've got lots of ribbon and lace but when the price is right you kind of gotta grab it here's some nice says it's sheer. This one's like brand new. It hasn't even been opened yet. So, and then we've got some smaller gold. There we go. So that's always handy to have. And then we've got some green. That looks like it's been untangled a couple of times. So it says there's 30 feet on there, and I don't think it, it's been open, but I don't think they've used anything. Let's see what else we've got. We've got some more. Oh, that's like that other sheer stuff that we had. Let's go and get the pin out. Oh, there we go. So that's what that looks like. That would be good for... Um, around a journal it's got a wire edge very fine wire like you could tie that really easy with the wire so there's that one some brown ribbon some kind of holographic type ribbon. and a lot of these like yeah they've been open but they certainly haven't um, been used much a brown a white and gold and then kind of another brown and then there's these two this one here has quite a purple tinge to it and these are brand new they've never been opened as of yet doesn't say nothing on it but I think it's pretty ribbon oh yeah that's nice oh now I'm stuck I guess now, yeah, there's a bit of a purple tinge to the background, but that's actually quite nice. It's um, quite stiff, so the wire on the edges on this one are a lot stronger than some of the other ones, but that's okay. And then we've got a whole bunch more. Um, there's four rolls of that and three rolls of this, kind of a goldy brownish color so lots and lots of ribbon but hold on Let's, we've got this as well so there is this gathered ribbon it was dollar 25 a meter so and then just lots of different types of let's see where can I 
Let's just set that there and then bring a few of those over. Lots of golds and silvers and different colors like that. And quite a bit of organza type ribbon. Like this one here is organza type. And that roll is full. So cut and sell by the yard. But yeah, I have no idea where a lot of this stuff came from or whatever. And here's a really nice organza ribbon. This is actually very soft and would be very nice to tie up a journal on that. Another one of those green ones. We got uh, white and silver. And some green and then some blush type color. So lots of great things. Another organza ribbon that's got a little small wire on the edge. So this is quite nice gold ribbon. And it's actually soft enough that you could actually tie that or something. I find sometimes gold and silver ribbon is like really hard almost. And then this is like just a cord. This one. And then some more organza ribbon, like an off white color. And then three more rolls. We've got this silver stuff. With a fair bit on there, but it's very nice. And then we've got some wide gold. And this stuff is, is wired, it says. But like I say, you can easily pull those out. And then here is a really nice wide organza type ribbon. And this stuff too is very soft and would go really nice as a tie for a journal. So five, five yards, and I'd be surprised if there was any used out of it. I'm, sh It's open, so I'm sure that they used a little bit, but I'm very happy with what I got. Um, it was enough to fill up a big cloth shopping bag. And so now I've got to find homes for all this. My favorite find is this fabric that like when I was looking and I, they have stuff sorted a bit. And when I went through the craft section, this is just like sitting right on top of all the other fabric, just sitting there. And I'm just like, I grabbed it. I didn't even think I noticed the colors. I grabbed it. And then I'm just like, oh my goodness. This fabric is gorgeous, and I do, I love it. Love, love, love it. So that is definitely my find of the day. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Check out all the other videos. I so appreciate you stopping by my channel. And check out the links below, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.